Now it's important for you to know up front that this track will completely remove the feelings of love towards a specific person. And because this track is designed to remove the feelings of love towards that specific person, it's important that you don't listen to this if you want to hang on to those feelings of love. Because once you've got rid of those feelings of love, there's no getting them back. So only listen to this when you are sure that that's what you want. When you are certain that you want to completely remove the feelings of love towards that person. Now the memories will still all be there. What this track does is it recodes those memories, so it takes them from being memories with a strong emotion to being non-emotional memories. So it's not going to create blank spaces in your mind. What it's going to do is make it so that you can think about those memories and feel calm. For example, if you went on a nice holiday with that person and you had fun and you enjoyed it, but now that memory of that holiday, whenever you think back on it, makes you upset because that memory is full of so much love. Well this track can remove the feelings of love whilst leaving you with that memory. So you can think back and think, oh yeah I had a great time on that holiday. We went and did this, we did this and we did this. The difference is you won't get emotional about it because it will have been recoded so only listen on if you are truly and honestly prepared to have all those old memories recoded Now, the process that I'm going to guide you through is going to involve you thinking of a few key memories that come to mind. Because the fact that you're listening to this track implies that there are certain thoughts that come to mind that stop you being able to move on. Because if no thoughts came to mind, then you wouldn't have a problem. And likewise, if you could think back on different memories, different experiences, and feel fine thinking back on those memories and experiences, again, there wouldn't be a problem. Now in many ways, memories of love that need recoding share similarities with phobias.
where whenever you think about that specific thing it evokes a strong emotion and even if you know rationally that you should have been able to move on or in the case of a phobia you know rationally that there's no harm that doesn't matter because the process is out of your awareness the programming is in your unconscious mind is outside of your conscious awareness so it doesn't matter consciously how rational you can be about it the old memories still evoke those old responses so the processes that I'm going to take you through on this track are designed to remove the old love emotion from those old memories now your brain is a pattern matching machine effectively it searches for patterns and it learns by patterns so although we're going to go through this process on a few memories your brain can begin to learn and it can begin to generalize to the other memories associated with that person and this also works equally well on just thoughts of the person so for example some people find that they can't get over love because they think back you know, they think about someone and what comes to mind is various happy memories whether it's a holiday together or whether it's you know, snuggling on a beach watching a sunset whatever it happens to be other people find that they think back or they just think about a person that they're trying to get over and every time they think about them what they see in their mind is just that person not specifically any experience from the past but just seeing that person is enough to make them feel those feelings of love and whichever it is it doesn't matter this track can work equally as well on both and as I guide you through this process some people will find that when they've just dealt with one memory or one round through the process they struggle to get the feelings of love when I run through the process a bit later on in the track whereas other people it might be on the second time and others still it might be on the third and there'll be a couple of people that will need to listen to this track a few times to completely remove all of that love for that person so just allow yourself to sit comfortably and allow your eyes to close so that you can be guided through this experience and just let yourself honestly and fully respond to the process now the first thing I want you to do is just to think about that person that you're trying to get over think about that person that you had been trying to get over
and just be aware of what memory comes to mind. And it doesn't matter whether it's a memory from the past or whether it's just an image of what they look like or whatever it happens to be. What we want is that one key thing, you know, that one key experience that has kept you trapped, that thing that plays on your mind day in, day out, that stopped you being able to move on in the past. So whatever it is, whether it's, for example, it could be that they don't even play on your mind, but they're still within your life in some way. And so when you when you're not with them, that's fine. But whenever you see them, all these feelings come flooding back. If that's the case, then just imagine seeing them in your mind. Imagine that sort of scenario happening. So whatever it is, what we want is that one key thing that's keeping that old problem locked in place at the moment. That experience that evokes the feeling of love. And while you experience that, just rate that experience on a scale of naught to ten. So naught is you don't feel any love towards them whilst experiencing what's on your mind now. And ten is the strongest that you could possibly feel love towards them at this time. And we want to scale it naught to ten so that at the end we can do the same again and you can notice the difference. Some people rate it an eight or a nine at the start and rate it a two or a three at the end. And then think, well, you know, they got that sort of result from listening to this track once. They're sure they can knock out the other two or three when they listen to the track a second time. Other people have gone maybe from a 10 down to a 6 and perhaps had to listen to the track three times to get it all the way down to a 0 or a 1. Other people have got it down to a 5 from listening the first time and then had to listen to a second time just to knock it down to 0 or 1. So by scaling that it allows you to notice your progress. Now for you to be experiencing strong emotion, the chances are you're probably associated into the experience in your mind. And by that I mean that you're probably seeing through your own eyes, hearing what you heard, feeling what you felt. For example, if you're seeing them in your mind's eye, you're probably just seeing them, you're not seeing yourself there as well. Or if it's a memory of an old distant holiday, the chances are you'll be experiencing that as if you were there rather than as if you're watching it. Now the first thing I'd like you to do is just imagine stepping out of the experience or stepping out of that memory or thought
and just create an old frame around it. And just imagine yourself in a room. And it's quite a large room. And just get a sense of putting that framed movie or image over on a distant wall. And then get a sense of turning your back on it and walking over to a chair that could be some distance away from that old memory or that old image or experience or thought and then just imagine sitting down in that chair so that you're looking over, all the way over that old memory over there and then while you're sitting there just get a sense of drifting out of your body now you could be drifting out of your body or you could just stand up and walk out of your body leaving that you sat there and just walk over to a chair in the corner of the room and the chair in the corner is over in the corner against the same wall that the old film is on And then just look over at that you sat in that chair. And in a moment when I say now, just watch that you sat over in that chair that's watching that old movie. Watch it in fast forward. So whatever's on that screen can go and fast forward from just before the memory started. So the memory will be from a point just before anything that can evoke love came onto the screen all the way through to just afterwards. For example, if you were on a beach with someone that you loved, but you went off to the toilet, whilst you're in the toilet, you're not thinking about them. So the feelings of love aren't there. So that would be like an experience that you could have just before or just after. And what you want is just be having that the love feelings in the middle of the old old memory up there. So just watch that you watching that old memory in fast forward now watching that old memory in fast forward really fast all the way to the end. That's it, all it in, rapidly, taking no more than about two to three seconds. That's it. Now what I'd like you to do is just drift into the end of the old movie. 
so that you're in it, seeing through your own eyes, hearing what you'd hear, feeling what you'd feel. And when I say now, just get a sense of rewinding all the way back to the beginning, before the old memory happened. And again, just take two or three seconds to do this. And everything can go in reverse, the feelings can go backwards. The action can go backwards, the speaking can go backwards. So just rewind that old movie. Now, we're on all the way to the beginning really fast, we're all the way back to the beginning. That's it, excellent. All the way back to the beginning. That's it. And then reach in the beginning. And then just get a sense of coming out of the memory just a moment and drifting over to that seat back over there. Drifting back over to that seat away from that old, old memory. And you know with DVD players you can put a DVD into the machine and you can skip chapters so you can skip through from one place to another and what I'd like you to do is to just get a sense of that old memory over on that old screen being divided into ten chapters now obviously if you just pressed play it would play from the start all the way through to the end but you can also skip to different chapters so just get a sense of looking down at the remote control that you've got for that old DVD player. And just type in chapter 5 so that, that old memory is paused still but on chapter 5. Now just get a sense of watching that old memory from chapter 5 in fast forward when I say now so that that memory takes about a second to go from chapter 5 all the way to the end and just do that now I'm pausing and watching chapter 5 all the way to the end. That's it, all the way to the end. Really fast, that's it. Just a second or two, that's it. Then when it reaches the end, type in chapter 8. So you see it paused at the beginning of chapter 8. And this time, get a sense of rewinding it all the way back to chapter 2. So it will be paused at the beginning of chapter 2. And rewind it, taking no more than about a second. Do that. Now, rewind all the, better, all the way back. That's it, all the way back to chapter 2. That's it, all the way back. That's it. Excellent. That's it. So that it's paused at chapter 2. And now in the same way that you can press shuffle to shuffle up music. And 
you can press shuffle and repeat and it will shuffle up the music and it will repeat it until you press stop and it will repeat it randomly not the same pattern each time just random and you can do that with this DVD player so just have a look around on the remote to find the shuffle button and then in a moment I'm going to ask you to press the shuffle button and then I'm going to name the scenes that are going to come up on the screen But as well as shuffling the scenes, it's also going to shuffle whether it does it in fast forward or rewind. So it could be scene 1 could be fast forwarded, but then scene 3 might come up and be rewound. And then scene 2 might come up and be fast forwarded again, and then scene 4 might come up and be fast forwarded, and then scene 6 might come up and be rewound. So I'll name what's going to come up. And just relax and watch the screen as it plays out that old, old, distant memory in that random order. So just press that shuffle button now. Scene 3, watch it fast forwarding. That's it, I can no more than about a second. Scene 8, watch it rewinding. That's it, all the way back to the beginning of scene 8. Scene 2, watch it fast forwarding. All the way through to the beginning of scene 3. Scene 10, watch it rewinding all the way back to the beginning of scene 10. Scene 3, watch it fast forwarding all the way to the beginning of scene 4. Scene 1, watch it rewinding all the way back to the beginning of scene 1. Scene 9, watch it fast forwarding all the way to the beginning of scene 10. Scene 6, watch it rewinding all the way back to the beginning of scene 6. Scene 5, watch it fast forwarding all the way to the end of scene 5. Scene 2, watch it rewinding all the way back to the beginning of scene 2. Scene 7, watch it fast forward all the way to the beginning of scene 8. Scene 10, watch it fast forward all the way to the end. Scene 1, watch it rewind all the way to the beginning. Scene 7, watch it fast forward all the way to the end. Of scene 7. Scene 3, watch it rewind all the way to the beginning of scene 3. And don't worry if you can't keep up with the process as it gets faster and faster. Scene 2, watch it fast forward. Scene 8, watch it rewind. Scene 6, watch it rewind. Scene 4, watch it fast forward. Scene 10, watch it rewind. Scene 1, watch it fast forward. Scene 6, watch it rewind. Scene 3, watch it rewind. Scene 9, watch it fast forward. Scene 7, watch it rewind. Scene 6, watch it fast forward. Scene 2, watch it fast forward. Scene 4, watch it fast forward. Scene 8, watch it rewind. Scene 3, watch it rewind. Scene 7, watch it fast forward.
Now just watch it carrying on so fast, shuffling and scrambling it all up, randomly playing scenes backwards and forwards in a random order, getting faster and faster and faster until it's just a complete blur of jumbling it up. And then when I say stop, that screen can stop. and stop now just go back to the beginning again and just let that old old distant experience drain of colour and shrink down and then just let that disappear and then what I'd like you to do is just to let another experience come to mind on that screen perhaps the second main thing that you think of when you think about that person and that old love feeling that you had towards them and again have that experience so that there's a point at the beginning before the feeling of love had appeared all the way through to the end, after the feeling of love had finished, had finished with that feeling of love. And again, just get a sense of drifting off so that you're looking back at the you sat there looking over at that old old memory and just taking about a second now that you know the process we can go through it even faster and the faster we go through it the faster you can go through this the more successful and quicker the results happen and the more powerful the change is So just watch that you when I say now, watching that old movie in fast forward, taking about a second or two to do so, and just watch that you watching that now, watching that you watching that old movie all the way through to the end, that's it, that's it, all the way to the end, that's it. And then again, just get a sense of drifting into the end of that old distant movie, the old distant memory that used to evoke those old feelings and just rewind when I say now all the way back to the beginning taking about a second to two seconds to do that seeing everything in reverse feeling everything in reverse hearing everything in reverse and do that now we're on all the way to the beginning really fast all the way to the beginning all the way to the beginning and then pause it at the very beginning and then get out the screen that's it and then get out the screen that's it and just get a sense again of drifting over to that you sat in that chair there looking all the way over at that distant memory and like before that old movie over there is divided into ten chapters and as you know the process we're going to go through this very quickly and don't worry if you feel that you can't keep up and can't consciously seem to do what is being asked because your unconscious can respond honestly and fully 
and can take over making it happen, reprogramming the old memory there. So again, just look down at that remote and prepare to press the shuffle button. And again, I'll tell you what the chapter is that's on the screen and whether it's going backwards or forwards. So just press that shuffle button now. Scene chapter 8, fast forward. Chapter 6, rewinding. Chapter 5, fast forwarding. Chapter 1, rewinding. Chapter 2, fast forwarding. Chapter 4, rewinding. Chapter 3, rewinding. Chapter 7, fast forwarding. Chapter 8, rewinding. Chapter 6, rewinding. Chapter 10, fast forwarding. Chapter 1, rewinding. Chapter 10, rewinding. Chapter 3, fast forwarding. Chapter 2, rewinding. Chapter 8, fast forwarding. Chapter 7, rewinding. Chapter 6, fast forwarding. Chapter 9, rewinding. Chapter 2, fast forwarding. Chapter 3, rewinding. Chapter 9, fast forwarding. Chapter 8, rewinding. Chapter 1, fast forwarding. Chapter 10, rewinding. Chapter 3, fast forwarding. Chapter 2, rewinding. Chapter 7, fast forwarding. Chapter 3, rewinding. Chapter 2, fast forwarding. Chapter 4, fast forwarding. Chapter 9, fast forwarding. Chapter 3, rewinding. Chapter 8, rewinding. Chapter 6, rewinding. Chapter 5, rewinding. Chapter 9, fast forwarding. And then just take over, speeding the process up so fast it's like a blur of jumping chapters, going backwards and forwards randomly choosing to rewind and fast forward and randomly selecting the chapters until I say stop That's it, and stop now. That's it, and then just notice the colour drain from that movie over on that old screen over there, the old, old movie on that old screen. And just notice it fading away, disappearing, vanishing. Now the third and final thing we're going to get on that screen will either be an image of that person or an image of that person as if you've met them or seen them in the future. So just look at that image of that person. Just look at that image of that person over there. And just imagine that you've got a magical eraser but before you erase them completely just look at them a minute and just notice what begins to change about them that begins to make them less attractive
just begin to darken the image drain all the color out of the image begin to change the image so that it doesn't look normal anymore almost as if you've posterized it which is where it seems to stand out slightly in places and the color changes you know, it goes so there's less variation in shades and begin to notice how features begin to exaggerate and then just begin to erase that image I don't know if you'll start in one corner or another corner or if you'll start in the middle of the screen and just begin to erase that image I don't know whether you'll erase that image quickly or whether you'll just take a moment or two to completely erase that person there in your mind so that that screen is completely blank That's it. And now with the screen being completely blank. Just imagine a future situation that in the past would have been difficult because it would have evoked the old love feeling associated with that person. So it could be bumping into them in the street or it could be seeing them in a specific place whatever it happens to be for you that in the past would have evoked that old feeling of love towards them just get a sense of that on the screen so that on the screen you've got a, a movie of a potential future situation that could well occur that in the past would have evoked that old feeling of love towards them perhaps would have made you feel and so with that future potential situation on that screen just get a sense of seeing yourself going through that future situation in a new way responding completely differently and just watch that you going through that future situation responding completely differently to how in the old response would have been responding completely differently to how you would have done in the past and just notice what you can notice that's different about that you that lets you know just turn up the volume to that internal dialogue of that you on that screen 
so that you can hear what's going through your mind. Where you're responding from an unconscious level in a completely new way. In a more desirable way. Rather than that old way. where there was love involved and just notice what you can hear about your internal dialogue perhaps you just talking away to yourself about what it is that you're up to maybe you're talking about what you need to buy from the shops or you're you know talking about what you're going to do tomorrow what you're going to make for dinner or you know, just random sentences because obviously you're responding in a new way so it probably doesn't even cross your mind the fact that they're there And just notice what's different about your body language. What do you notice and what would others notice that's different about your body language? And about the way you're moving around or how you are in that situation. And what's different about your pulse rate in that situation? What's different about the amount you sweat or don't sweat, what's different about you just notice as subtle differences as you can and just go through watching that experience all the way through until after the experience ends and you're in an environment again where that person isn't there and then just imagine that starting again from the beginning and this time just imagine walking into the experience so that this time you're going to experience that experience in this new way seeing through your own eyes hearing what you're going to hear feeling what you'll feel and just experience what it's like to respond in this new way and you can just take a few moments to run through that experience all the way from the beginning all the way to the end comfortably experiencing what it's like to respond in this new way That's it, just going through, experiencing that in a new way. And now, just get a sense of going back to that chair the screen can completely shrink and disappear now just get a sense of going back to that chair and just resting back in the chair and closing your eyes and just integrating all the new way of responding Just imagine that you're lying back in that chair and you're imagining you're imagining drifting above a line of events 
all mapped out beneath you from way back in your past all the way along to the present just imagine looking down on that as if it's individual slides for every individual memory that you've ever had and just notice all of the slides that are associated with that person that you had the old feeling of love for just imagine them changing colors they stand out then just get a sense of watching them move out so they separate from all the other slides and then imagine them all coming together in one place and just see them going somewhere and being locked away there just see them going somewhere and being locked away there so that you know that if you ever wanted to view those memories in the future you can always go to that locked away place and open it and just calmly and relaxed and view those memories or you can choose to just leave them locked away and if anyone talks to you about any of those memories you can get them out individually and view them in isolation and individually just like occasionally getting out an old painting to look at and then just storing it away again then in a few moments I'm going to ask you to come all the way back to the room or all the way back to wherever you are and to open your eyes and just allow yourself to feel refreshed and revitalized and then I'm going to ask you where you're on the scale now to see how much you've moved from where you were at the beginning and perhaps a part of you can be curious as to where you're going to find yourself whether you're going to have gone down by 20% or 40% or 60% or 50% or even 80% or 100% and I'd be curious to get an email from you in a couple of years time to tell me how you've moved on since listening to this track and how things have changed and what you have achieved for yourself and you can feel totally compelled to send that email when the time is right and it can feel like a strong overwhelming urge to send that email but only when the time is right to send me that email to let me know how you've moved on, how well things have been 
what you have achieved in your life. Because I always like to hear from people. To hear how people are doing. To hear how well people are doing. And I love to read about people's achievements. That's why I like reading many biographies of people that have been successful and people that are successful. So just take a moment to reorientate yourself and reintegrate yourself as this new improved person that's made those changes fully and honestly on an unconscious level. As I count from one up to five, and on the count of five, just open your eyes. And come all the way back. One, two, three, four, coming all the way back now. Five, coming all the way back and opening your eyes. And now on that scale of naught to ten again, that you'd rated previously with your old rating. Again, just think about that old person. Think about that old person and whatever it was that used to evoke that old response. And on a scale of 0 to 10, just rate where you are now. just notice how much you've changed. Now for some people they'll want to listen to this again a couple more times, perhaps to deal with other little issues or other memories. And other people will find that once was enough. And I look forward to receiving an email from you in the future, maybe a year or two years in the future. Just let me know how you've been getting on and how things have changed and you know, how your life has moved on and the sort of things that you've achieved. If you want to email me sooner, then that's fine. Because I look forward to receiving emails from people and hearing how people have got on and what they've achieved and what they've done with their lives. I love reading a good success story. <laughs>